All right, it's about a quarter to three in the morning here. Can't sleep, so I decided to look around on Reddit, and we've got some wants to know how to isolate colors. Specifically in this image, they wanted to basically remove all the colors except for red, white, and blue. White, we don't really need to worry about for this. The way you want to go about it, you want an adjustment layer, and the one that we're looking for is hue and saturation. Now towards the top of this hue saturation adjustment panel, you've got two drop down menus, one for presets, and you can play with these to figure out what they do. It doesn't really matter for the purpose of this video. The second drop down menu is the one that we're going to be dealing with here. And the way you, you kind of want to think about this, in my mind at least, is it, this is more about removing colors than it is about enhancing colors. So in this second drop down menu, we know we don't want yellows, so go to your yellows and just drag the saturation all the way down. And you do the same thing for greens. Now, you actually probably want to keep both cyans and blues. Uh, magentas, I think for this image, it's pretty safe to just reduce all the magentas as well. If I just turn this layer off, you can see the progress that we've got going on so far, and it was pretty quick. Now, something else that you can do, just to kind of help yourself see things more clearly, I guess is the way I look at this, is um, do a separate hue and saturation layer, and just turn the saturation for everything all the way up. That's probably going to make whatever you're working with a lot more annoying or more difficult to look at, but it definitely helps the colors stand out. Now I'll turn back on the adjustment layer where we've already reduced some things, and you can see what's going on here. You've got a lot of oranges in, in the skin, a lot of yellows still. Um, there is a little bit that goes into the green, but we'll show you how to deal with that. And I'll turn off this super saturated layer just to... it's annoying me at this stage, so... Even with the, the crazy saturation turned off, there's an orange jacket up here. Oops. There's an orange jacket up here that stands out to me as something that I don't think I want in there. That doesn't look like red to me. So we'll go back into our adjustment panel. And we'll select the yellows. Because we want to remove some more of the yellows to get rid of that orange. Now the left edge of this, you can drag this around. And you can immediately see, if you, if you drag it too far, you start getting rid of all your red. So basically you're looking for the sweet spot where you're going to get rid of that orange jacket, but none of the reds that you want to keep. And a lot of times, just dragging it the way I'm doing it here is not going to be good enough. So you've basically got four tick marks here that you can adjust, or four markers, however you want to think of these marks on this little toolbar line. The one at the far left, you can consider, you can consider that a 0% marker. And the second one to the left here, you can get, you can consider this 100%. And the same thing at the right. This one all the way at the right is a 0%, and the second to the right is a 100%. So be between these two 100% markers, you're getting the strongest effect of what you're doing. So since we're reducing the saturation all the way, you're getting the most 100% reduction of saturation in between these two markers and the outer markers is kind of a, like a sloping cutoff effect of some kind or a cutoff filter maybe just depends on how you think about these things but so I don't go on rambling too long I'm just gonna start dragging these around I basically know that I want to I want to narrow the gap between 0% and 100% at the left here towards the reds so I'm gonna drag this down so it's about as narrow as possible but and I don't know can I actually make this larger yeah. So you can pop this panel out and make it quite a bit bigger. And the reason I want that is because as I drag this one all the way to the left closer here, it becomes more difficult to move them both as a group. So since you can make this whole thing wider, this this can help if you're able to do this. Because I want to get it to the point where that orange jacket is disappearing. But I know there's some, yeah, the, the red in this shirt down here was disappearing earlier when I was messing with it. See, if I go too far, the red down there starts to disappear, and that's not what we want. 
So we just want to get it to where just that orange is disappearing. I think that looks pretty good. And now I've messed up my <laughs> now I've messed up my layer palettes here. So I should be able to drag this right back in. Right back in here. There we go. I had to wait till that little line turned blue, I guess. I've managed to mess up my uh, workspace a bit here. That's unfortunate. Unfortunately, when trying to drag around that tool panel, kind of messed up, <laughs> kind of messed up my workspace in Photoshop here, and that's been incredibly distracting to me. And I've been trying to get everything back. I'm not going to get everything back right now. So I just, I want to move on. I don't want to have to close Photoshop and restart recording. Okay. So although it's not super important to this image in particular, probably, um, we've still got some green like down in this guy's jacket that I'm noticing and some green right there and when I say green it's just it looks green to my eyes so. this is where we, when we created the super saturation layer this can help if you if you want to look for those kinds of things that you think are going to bother you and you can't quite see them you can always you know use another adjustment layer to turn that saturation all the way up and have it separate so you can turn it on and off so let's go after those greens. Let's try cyans. Okay. So if we get rid of the cyans, I think that's going to make me happier in this case. Rather than trying to... Rather than trying to get rid of more greens. This just seems like a faster way to get to what I'm looking for visually. You see now, once I turned off that super saturation layer, I'm not sure that I like what's going on. But I think you basically get the idea. At this point, I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep tweaking this because I just want to get this done. So, you've got your colors adjusted the way you wanted, and it seems pretty simple to just tell you if um, if you want to keep any part of your image in full color, you would just copy that to a different layer. And, and stick it on top of your layer stack here. But we'll go ahead and we'll show how that works. Okay, now I've got my little application started to show you what keys I'm hitting. Sorry, I didn't have that running earlier. If you want to keep any part of your image in full color, it's pretty simple. You just want to select the part of the picture that you want to be in full color. And let's say the Obamas here, we want to keep them in full color. And once you've got them selected, Control J to duplicate it to a new layer. I'm going to drag that to the top of the layer stack. And you can turn back on the hue saturation where we got rid of all the colors if you like, but it doesn't matter so much for this part. I think what helps more is to actually turn off the background at this point if you work the way that I do. Um, add a layer mask to your layer that you copied up there. Grab your brush tool. And you want to just start painting with black to get rid of anything that you don't want on this layer. Yeah, I'm not going to be super accurate with this. Just doing it enough to give you a general idea of what's going on here. Alright, I think that looks good enough for what we're doing here. Again, this is just for demonstration. This doesn't... I don't feel like I need to be super accurate on this. So now we've got the Obamas on their own layer, and they are in full color. Yeah, let's see, there's a little bit of brown on ish just at the edge there. Not sure why that's still there, but that's not super important. At this stage, if there are any other colors in the image that you want to get rid of, but they are still within the range of your reds and blues, the way I would do this is we'll duplicate this layer, the background layer, drag it above our hue saturation, now above this layer we are going to apply a desaturation filter to it which is basically another hue saturation adjustment just drag this saturation down on everything okay and got so many layers here start naming them so this one is desaturation this one was our super saturation this is our red blue layer where we only have the reds and blues showing. So as you can see, since we've got our background duplicated up here and we're desaturating it with this, everything is getting, we're losing our reds and blues. 
not to worry. Just come over here to your layers palette again. Uh, you want to get your cursor between your desaturation layer and your background copy that you did. Hold down the Alt key and click when you see this little icon. It shows up when you hit that line between them. And that makes it apply only to that background layer. Now once you've got that done to your background layer, again holding down your Alt key, you want to add a layer mask to it. This is a layer mask icon down here below the layers panel. And by holding down Alt, when you click to add the layer mask, that fills it with black automatically. So now at this point, again, grab your brush. You want to paint with white to start revealing your black and white layer. And so we've got this green shirt down here. We're just going to get rid of that, make sure it is desaturated. Got some red on this person's cheek here. I don't like that. Got some red on their hands. I don't like that. This pink here I don't like, so I'll get rid of that. And I think you basically see where I'm going with this. Um, anything else that I don't want in here, I'm just going to manually remove. It shouldn't take that much time to do that. Blue looks weird in that tree there, so I would just get rid of that. Um, and you could even turn on your super saturation layer if you really wanted to, to do that to get rid of anything you really don't like and it's just harder to see without it. that about covers it for uh, how to isolate colors and either enhance them or remove them I think. So I hope this video helped. Have a good one.